is a very important and a very meaningful day. As most of us, we do gather and attend many different kinds of events. But then I think more, most of the events speaks and talks about maybe what they call it, of course, talks about success, talks about happiness, talks about uh, many things. But then I think today, why we get here is under the blessings of all the great masters who have contributed tirelessly towards the Buddha Dharma and towards the humanity and the world. And today we are here to, we are gathered here to remember their hard work, their contributions. And also, it's a great reminder for all of us, I feel, that we all are followers of Buddha Dharma. And also, not only because we are following the Buddha's teaching, but also a being, a human being. We need, sometimes we need a reminder. We need, because we are in this 21st century with so much of hatred, compassion, sorry, uh, what do you call it, uh, competition, uh, I don't know, jealousy, anger, and uh, many things. So we, since we are living in such a uh, difficult or active and busy world, I think sometimes we need a reminder. We are gathering like today and we remember that what all those great masters they have done towards the Buddha Dharma, through the Buddha's teaching, and for the well-being of all the mother sentient beings. And it is not only their job or their duty. Many of us, we think, many of us today, we think that contributing, working towards the Buddha Dharma, contributing something towards the humanity, doing something for others, it's like responsibility of those venerables or those who are sitting on the dais, those who have a, some kind of a, some kind of a, what do you call it, um, some kind of strategy, some kind of name, some kind of designations. We don't need it. It's all our duty. It's everyone's duty today or whoever is sitting here today, whether you are following, whether you are a, uh, following the Buddha's teaching, or you are following any other religion, but being a human being. And especially if you are following the teachings of Buddha Dharma, if you are, we call it Buddhist, then it is, it is our number one responsibility to walk and to do something for others. And of course, to practice the love and compassion. We never know, you know, Buddhas, Buddhas and Buddha Sattvas can come in different form. It doesn't have to be always yellow and red. It can find in any, any other colors, any form. We never know, many of you are, today over here, you are here, you are looking simple as a male or as a female, as a normal people, you are not sitting on the dais. So you must be thinking, I'm nobody. I'm just sitting in the last row and I'm looking and I'm nobody. It's not like this. We all have to feel, respect yourself, feel yourself, encourage yourself, First of all, as a being, a human being, we have so much of capability. We have, we are, we are, 
we are considered as a very smart and, and very intelligent. So we must try to use this our intelligence and our smartness to make this world a better. But in order to do that, you have to make yourself a better. You have to you have to you have to respect yourself. You have to you know teach yourself. Then slowly you should you know try to reach more try to reach your wife, your husband, your child and the society and community and to the world. This is our responsibility. This is our duty. Many of us we say I'm Buddhist, I'm Buddhist, I'm Buddhist, I'm Buddhist. So what? If you're Buddhist, so what? That doesn't represent that you are Buddhist. If you are really a follower of Buddha Dharma, if you really want to do something, it doesn't have to be on guys or you don't have to wear yellow or red. Everybody must take responsibility and we all must come together and make a change and a change yourself and bring a change to the society and to the world. So today, I want to thank from depth of my heart to my friend Vigosanda Sina who has been walking tirelessly. Though he see, is an example here. He has not he has no such story that he's born with this. He was the moment he's born, there's no rainbow, I think. There's no rainfall. That's what we used to say, right? I think many of the Buddhas and Buddha Sangas, Sangas, they are born, when they're born, there were many auspicious signs and that we have lots of things to say. But I think I never heard uh, whether there was a rainbow or not, whether he was born. Maybe they, were, they must have, I don't know. But you know, coming from such and such a humble and ordinary person, coming from an army background, and you know, walking tirelessly, and not because somebody taught him this and that, but he understood what really the human being means, and what really he had to do, and his, he should be doing, and how really he had to put his human life, his precious human life, to make it more meaningful. So that, that, there we, where he is today. So I, I always appreciate all his work, and also he is uh, my, what do you call it, uh, inspiration. I get inspired from him. I run a school. I get inspired from him also. I do many other things, many other activities. I also get inspired from, of course, from many of my masters, and also one of, uh, he is also one of, I always look at him, and I always keep as an example, and I always have my deepest respect to him. So whenever I, he call me, I make sure that I come here, you know. <laughs> and he always tells me, when he wants to come, invite me, he makes sure that he comes to meet me, but I never allow him to come to meet me, because that doesn't, I uh, mean, like, we are friends, we, he can just call me over the phone. He says yesterday, day before yesterday, I think last three days he was trying to meet me, but I'm trying, I'm just running, you know, I'm not meeting him, not because I don't want to meet him, but then I have no need, so he can just call on me, and then I'm very happy, more than happy to uh, be part of this, uh, what you call it, respected Mahabodhi. So anyway, it's it's a lesson for all of us today. We all must think a little bigger, brighter, and especially this 21st century, which is we are all going through. A, I don't know, a, so many confusions, so many difficulties, so many ups and downs. So this is, uh, I think, it's very important that we all must work together. And this is and this is not a time to talk about left, right, big, small, low caste, high caste, male, female, that yana, this yana, vajrayana, hinayana, mahayana, male, female, I don't know. There is rich, poor, powerful, not powerful, intelligent, stupid. This is not the time to talk about this. We should leave this behind now. We should all come together. We should not think about this color, this jnana, this and that. This is not the time to talk about this. This is really the time to come together. Whether even you are you are following Buddha, Buddha's teaching or you are following following 
uh, Jesus Christ, or you are following Allah, or you are following uh, Hinduism, we all must come together. And we all must make a change in this world. World cannot be changed only by a Buddhism. We all must come together and work together and slowly, slowly we can make a change in your own, your family, your society and the world. And that's our responsibility. Myself today, you must be, uh, yes, I am a spiritual person and I, I am a Buddhist follower. But the most important, most, every day, the moment when, when I get up, what I always think, I never tell myself, I'm Rinpoche, I'm this, I'm that. No, I always consider myself as I'm a human being. I must do something. This is my, always this is what I do. This is what I keep in my mind that I'm a human being, I must do something. So this is what I want to do also because of this. And also, now if I talk about Buddhist teaching also, since we all being Buddhist, Buddhist follower, also it's our responsibility to, to take these great teachings of Buddha to many, many, many generations and hundreds and thousands and million years. That's our responsibility. So that's why we must, we must work together to keep this uh, precious teaching not to, not to disappear in this these two, three decades, we must work together to take these great teachings and to keep alive of these teachings for thousands and millions and billions of years to come. That's our responsibility. Anyway, once again, uh, sorry for taking so much of your time. Thank you very much, Bhikkhu Sangasena, for, for uh, inviting me on this, giving me opportunity on this auspicious occasion. Thank you very much. and my. Respect to all the uh, venerable who are on the dais. Sorry, sometimes your names are a little bit difficult to me. So I don't want to make a mistake on your name. Thank you very much to all the distinguished guests. Thank you very much, everybody.